Hey everybody, it's Amanda Stevens here with Pork Chop at Final Round 2018. How's it going, fam? What's going on? What's going on? I'm trying to, trying to hold my own in there. <laughs> uh, so, before we started doing this interview, we were talking about some characters in Tekken. How you feel about uh, Geese and Akuma? It shouldn't be in the game. You know, I mean, Geese, off of two meters, he can take a full life bar. Akuma, off of a down jab, he can take almost a life bar. I mean, it makes no sense to give him meter and, I mean, they, they break the game, really. I mean, it's not Tekken no more. It's Street Fighter. That's, that's what it becomes, a 3D Street Fighter. I mean, from a fan perspective, though, a lot of people are kind of hyped to see sort of them because Bandai Namco has always been about like, oh, yeah, let's bring in Link. Let's bring in, you know, Spawn. But you're you're not a, you're not you're not feeling that as a competitor at Evo when they released when they when they showed the release of Geese at Evo, I got up and walked out. Wow. So so you're not happy with Bandai Namco right now. I mean, they put Bruce in the game. I, I, I'll be happy with whatever they do, but they put him back in the game, then, hey, you can keep those characters in the game <laughs> because then I, I will have the tools that I use that I need to, to defeat those characters. But right now, I'm just sitting there holding it. I have no choice but to just hold that. All right, and I know that you also entered Street Fighter this weekend. As somebody who you know is complaining about Street Fighter characters and Tekken, how did the Street Fighter pools go? Uh, worse. worse. But, <laughs> but, I mean, I... Um, this is expected in Street Fighter. I mean, I don't practice the game. I only play it at tournaments. But, uh, I mean, you know, when I lose in Street Fighter, I don't too much get mad because I, I have no choice but to get mad at myself. So uh, that's what you get for not practicing. So, but um, I do plan on playing a little bit more so that what I lost to won't happen again because I got popped off on. I, it, it, that doesn't feel good. I can imagine. So what is your practice setup like? Do you, are you one of those guys that just strictly watches VODs? Do you have like sort of a training regimen? Um, I'm not a training person. Like you could ask, the, you could ask the whole Atlanta crew. They will tell you that I do not go to training mode and they all get on me about it. So my training is just to play. That's, that's what I do because I, I'll see something that's done on a combo video and I'll try to do it in battle. So that way, Doing it in battle, you know, that's how I, that's how I perform, you know, just on the fly. So that way I won't be like, oh, I got to be in a certain situation to do a certain combo. No, I'm already in that situation. I already know what to do. I'm going to do what I need to do. So, but me just playing, that's, that's my training. Okay. Uh, and speaking of Atlanta, uh, I haven't been following Tekken too closely lately, but everybody tells me that for the United States, Atlanta is kind of the, the home of Tekken. How did that sort of come about? Is it just everybody who's strong just happens to live in Atlanta, or was that something like as a community you guys tried to cultivate? Um, it's been it's been that way since like Tekken three, Tekken Tag one maybe. Um, we had the most competitors. Like a, a monthly tournament had about forty to fifty people. That's just a local, you know, a monthly or something like that. Um, but mainly a, a lot of a lot of the good players branched out, like uh, Jop. Uh, Tech and Tim, uh, Jackie Tran, they, they all came from Atlanta. And I would say, yeah, the, Atlanta is the home of the, the strongest Tekken players. I mean, I went, I'm not saying that Atlanta has nothing but, I mean, has the strongest, but we have a lot of strong players. Like our B team in Tekken 6 was, was stronger than Texas, you know, like just the B team. So it is what it is. All right, and I know that you recently did E-League and you seem to were really, really enjoying yourself. Uh, do you hope Tekken gets more opportunities like an E-League? I, I tried to put on a show so that it would, you know, so, um, I mean, of course, I got my behind toe up, but uh, I tried to put on a show to where the producers would, you know, like, to, yeah, we got to have that again. We got to have that excitement. And I was told that uh, that it was one of the best shows that they've ever recorded. So, 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 so far, I'm, I'm hoping that happens. I mean, one of the, um, one of the uh, producers came to me at, at Final Round, and he was like, hey, man, good to see you. You know, how, how you doing? And, you know, so I, I think that's a good thing. So hopefully we will see Tekken again in the future. Yeah, especially from, I, I like fighting games just in general. But E-League was the first time I was like, you know, I'm going to watch this straight straight through. And I was like, man, Tekken's an interesting game. I like this. So I definitely want to see more. I want to see you guys on ESPN uh, during EVO. You know, it would be kind of hype. Yeah, I'm hoping to make it to that stage one day, hopefully. So what is your next event? Because I don't know all the Tekken World Tour stops. But what's your next? What's your next Tekken event? Uh, I'm not. I'm not exactly clear on it, but I know I'm going to CEO. Okay. 
But as far as anything before CEO, I'm not exactly clear on it. Maybe combo breaker. I'm not sure. So, But if you don't see me at that, I'm most definitely going to be a CEO. All right. And is there anybody you want to thank? Anybody you want to shout out, show some love to? Uh, first, I'm going to shout out to Virtual Storm, of course, uh, Kwamba, and the ATL crew. All right. Thank you so much, Porkchop.